Hi everybody, this is Kat Kerr and I promised you a political update on the midterm elections. And today you're going to get a basic understanding of that and then tomorrow I'll probably give more detail on what, uh, what about the amendments, you know, what about the judges. All this is important to have this information in order to make your vote count. And please, I do want you to vote. If you are a Republican and you think everything's going to be okay, let me tell you, God used us in the last you know, the election when Trump won and we all wanted that one after that. We need to be just as passionate about winning all the Republican seats in this midterm election because the more that Trump has for his plan, then he's going to be able to do them quicker. But if Democrats get involved, they're going to try to tear it down, delay it, you know, bog up the works. So we don't want that to happen. God's plan is for us to go full force forward. We've made so many uh, things help happen, okay, because of our, our support of Trump and our prayers make a big difference. And this message is not just for believers that I'm going to give you right now. This is so you will be aware of what both platforms are. I can do that. What the Democratic platform is and what the Republican platform is and why we say please vote Republican. Well, number one, it does make a difference, as I just said, with the president and the plans he's already got ready to put out there and put in force. They get bogged down either in the Senate or in the House. And in the more Republican seats we win, the more freedom he's going to have to move forward. And let me tell you, two million jobs being created in, in just a couple of years that he's been in there is tremendous. And the liberty we have and the more freedom in the streets. Uh, and look at the tax cut for the businesses. We have family members that are in business. Let me tell you, it made a major difference to have that 25% tax cut. Well, I'm going to tell you, first of all, the Democrats. <laughs> the Democrats do not want to do a tax cut. The Democratic platform is higher taxes all the way around. And I happen to have heard from a very reliable source, and they've had people sort of undercover checking out the Democratic Party. They've changed the name of their party. In the last election, they kind of almost hid everything they were going to do, and they spent all their time bashing Trump to, to pull the attention off of what they really were after, which was a horrible thing. They wanted to take control of our children, of the schools. They're going to let every child, even in elementary school, decide if they were a male or a female. They're going to let all the boys and all the girls' bathrooms. I mean, it was really horrible. That's only a little bit of what Hillary had planned. And let me tell you, she was used by the Democratic Party anyway. They wanted somebody weak enough they could control. And the agenda for the Democratic Party is to rule. Okay? They want to take away all of our rights. And even, even in this election here... The Democratic uh, thing is anti-gun still. We have the right to bear arms to protect ourselves. And every third world country, the reason why those people have no freedom is they have no way to have the freedom. The government controls everybody's jobs. They control what goes on there. They make all the decisions. They don't let them have any way to defend themselves. And let me tell you, uh, those people who are criminals aren't going to give up their guns. You think they're going to abide by that if somebody decides to put that in practice? No criminal or terrorist is going to give up their guns. And yet they're asking us, the people in America, America is for the people, by the people. We want the right to bear arms. And our, our God calls it our papers. Okay, in our own papers, <laughs> that would be the Constitution. You know, we have the right to bear arms, to protect ourselves. And... And all through these years, there's never been massive riots with us who have the guns that want them to protect us. We've never gone on the streets and just shot everybody. That was always the terrorists or the criminals that did that. And so I am a big supporter, okay, that we should have the right to bear arms. And, and as an American citizen, we do have that right. But that right is wanting to be taken away by the Democratic Party. They don't want anyone to have arms. They also have stated this that their new name, because before they kind of hid what they were doing, now they're just throwing it all out there. They're the Democratic Socialist Party of America. If you're too young to know what that word socialist means, let me inform you, it means communism. A socialist republic is communism. They don't have any rights. They have no freedom. They don't have arms. They can't control their own business. They don't have the right to make as much money as they want to. It strips away everything you have and great oppression sets in on those countries that are communist countries. Why do you think people are trying to escape to them from them to come here? 
because of the freedom and the liberty. And as Americans, we have that God-given right to the pursuit of happiness. Well, let me tell you, there's no happiness in the communist party, parties, but they're trying something desperate. They're desperate because whatever they think can move everybody, they want to get all the young people and the millennials, that's somebody who's left between the age of 17 and 29, they want to, to corrupt their minds and lie to them and get them to come into this new party so that they can be free to do whatever they want to. Well, let me tell you, they'll be taking their lives away. And you know, I'm 66. I remember those days when communism was in a great part of the world and everybody was trying to escape to come here. Why do they want this country? Because it is great. There's no place like America in this world. And I do love people in other countries. I love everyone. I want everyone to be free. I want everyone to have liberty. I want everyone to have justice. And speaking of justice, well, the Supreme Court just got, to, as you could say, a blow for the Democrats, a victory for the Republicans and those who want justice, liberty, and freedom. With Kavanaugh put in the Supreme Court, God says, now he has a seat in the Supreme Court, if you want to know what he thinks about that. I always give heaven's um, viewpoint on everything. God is going to vote Republican. You go, oh, he doesn't care. Yes, he does. He's the one who helped get Trump in office. That was a miracle of the ages. Besides, you know what? Jesus is also involved in this. He wants us to have the greatest ability to travel, to share the gospel, uh, to have our rights as Americans, to speak about who we want to vote for in our own platforms, even in the church's podium. Is It is the right for every American to share that. And that's been choked down by the Democrats uh, for years. And now the Johnson Amendment is being abolished. Yay, God. We don't want to step back into what we had before, which was no life at all. All right. The way the Democrats have been running their, their system for years made us lose millions of jobs. Uh, people lost their homes. They lost hope. They were, there was so much violence in the streets and threatened violence all the time. Our money, our own money was given to our enemies. We don't want to go there again. We want to go forward, vote Republican. It's not necessarily about the party, but right now that's the party that's in there and that's who Trump is under. It's about the platform. So the Democrats, this is the other thing they're, they're, they, they're talking about besides changing their name to a communist party. And that's what socialist means. They want open borders around our entire country. What does that mean? Anyone can come in from anywhere in the world and have free access to our country. I don't think I want that. That's not protecting us. That's letting all of the violent and the terrorists and everyone else come in that has their own thoughts on what their own agenda is to come in here. We have an agenda as America to stay free. So the Democrat Party wants to open up all the borders and let anyone into this country. They don't want anyone making more money. How about this one for business people? They do not want anyone making more money than another company. They do not want it. They are not for progress at all. They want to control the business arena, the education arena, the financial arena. They want to control everything. And this is what their motto is. We will take it all and we will help you so you have no issues, you have no problems. We'll take care of you. I hope you're not dumb enough to believe that because I know I'm not. And I have a 12th grade education. I realize what liberty freedom is. And there is a price for it. And that price has been paid for for hundreds of years in this country to give us what we have. And we are coming back. We're getting our country back. And I'm not giving it to the Democrats, the left. I'm not giving it to those who want Satan, who want a white God of our, out of our country. I am passionate about this. I plan to live a very long time and I want to see my children, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren have a chance to be great in their own country. Now I have to run and hide for protection and safety. Okay. They don't want, they don't want anybody that has any kind of authority. They do not want the sheriff system or the, 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 the uh, sheriff system that watches over and, and takes authority over the evil that's rising up in this country. They want the criminals to have more rights than the victims because they're not for any of so I'm going to keep reading. Okay. The Democratic Party is pro-choice. What does that mean? They want the right to kill babies. They are not for life. They have never been for life. They've been against life. A baby is a living thing who has a right to grow up and have a life of their own in this country, but they don't want that. Let me tell you, women, the right you have is to bear 
the babies that are in you and birth them into this country that they can have a right to live. Because heaven does not like people killing babies. And there's going to be a great accountability to all those who were involved in that. If you think you got away with that, the doctors who per perform those procedures, you will not get away with it. God knows everything that's going on down here. And that's why he's setting America up to be great, to be free. That the babies that are being sent from heaven to this earth to become someone in this earth uh, and do great things for him. He wants that. In this time, there'll be more liberty and freedom offered to us from God himself. But he wants us to live in a society that cares about life. So if you want life to happen, then you, you should vote Republican. Because the Democrats don't want it. I guess that's more people. Less people to have to take care of with all the money they're going to take away from us. So, okay, so they're anti-gun. They want higher taxes. They want the borders open to everybody. They want unionized public schools. What does that mean? They're going to teach anything they feel like to our children, and we will not have the right to say anything about it. I don't think you want your child coming home saying, oh, I've decided I'm a boy when it's a girl. Or, hey, I had to go to the bathroom today, and there were boys in there, and I won't tell you what they were doing. This is not right. It's wickedness. Okay, we have children so that we can love them, raise them up, let them have a great life. I am not giving that to a, to a platform that doesn't care about our children and all they want to do is brainwash them and control them. I hope someone else stands up and says something because I am. I represent heaven on this earth and I let you know heaven doesn't like any of that. Heaven never partners with evil. I have more. I'm not done. Okay. They want, they are for the sanctuary cities. And let me tell you, I don't know what happened to the brain of those governors, whoever made that decision to let sanctuary cities happen. They will have higher crime rates. They will have less money available to them. They will have so much turmoil in those cities because they have let every kind of person in there. And that is not fair. If you want to come into this country, I'm all for you doing that. But you better come in legally. Because this is the way we run America. We are not an open gate country where every terrorist, wicked, evil person plotting and planning things, um, we're not going to let them come in here. I think those Democrats that want that should go somewhere else and start their own country and they can have all that stuff over there. It won't last long. Communism never produces life. It produces death, no hope, uh, worthlessness and fear and that is not what we are about here in America the other thing I want to do is abolish ice which is so absolutely necessary if you don't know what that is look it up and see but the but the bottom line is this they want a communism style of life in this country the Democratic Party have even named themselves that so why would you want to vote for any of them and that Gillum person in Florida we don't want you you think you're going to win? You have something else coming. We're smarter than you are. We know what you stand for. You're for the democratic way of life. And we don't want that. I don't care how good you think you look and how smart you dress or what you think. We are going to vote for DeSantis, who is for life, who wants everything that is good for us here. I encourage you, anybody in Florida, you need to vote for DeSantis. Because guess what? He wants to lower taxes. He is pro-Second Amendment. Uh, he wants to have vouchers and parental choice for the children in the schools, not a unionized, you're going to do what we say, or guess what, you're not going to get anything. Uh, the right to life. See, he wants life. Uh, no sanctuary cities. Okay, none. Everybody should have to go through a system and identify themselves to see if they have the right to stay in this country. If they have a violent background or a violent agenda, they don't have any right to be here. I'm not saying people who really need help and really want to be here. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about all the other ones that are sick in their mind or have mental delusions of what they're going to do here. And they have rights to be here. They don't have any right to be here. Okay? Those who were born here or who came in legally, they have a right to be here. We have a heart to help people, and so do I. But I still say they need to come in legally and every person in these sanctuary cities that they're making, they all need to be checked out legally in every way to make sure that we should allow them to stay here. And so I am against sanctuary cities. And let me tell you, heaven is not a sanctuary city. Heaven does not let evil or wickedness or hate or, or 
immoral things come into heaven. Heaven is not a free for all and free for all. It's for those who want to live right, do right, they walk upright, uh, they live their life the way Christ asks us to live. And so even if you're not a Christian, I encourage you to vote for Republican if you want to have the right to life, if you want to support ICE, which is very important, pro-growth, pro-business, pro-liberty. In this country, I am for liberty, justice, freedom, for the right for business to grow and expand and become great in this country, for life to be here, for the violence to be pushed back and crushed down, and let us be what God made us to be, Americans, for liberty, justice, righteousness, and freedom. May you have a blessed day, and may God be with you.